Okay, <laughs> I guess we're recording. Um, hi everyone and welcome to my channel, My Jewelry Addiction. My name is Tanya and I'm addicted to jewelry. I went out yesterday, today is Wednesday, I went out yesterday uh, after I went to the post office and I also went out today shopping. Um, and here's what I got. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, what's this you say? A little red? A little bit of red. I used to be a red. I like it. I did Tasha's and Tasha did mine. Tasha's is kind of cool. Um, I just trimmed my bangs though right here. Just, just a little bit. And I feel like there's a loose hair. <laughs> There's a wild hair. Um, speaking of wild hairs, look at this little piggy. It's just a really cute little, it could sit if I wanted it to on one of my little shelves. But his little tail is actually a squiggly little bale. Um, so it could be on a pendant. I don't think it's silver or anything. It's not marked anything. It's awfully cute, though. He's cute. So it's this little angel. And it's a trinket box uh, by Monet. 2003 or 2008? 2003. Wow. That's 20 years old. <laughs> that's almost vintage. <laughs> cute. Um, I found this and I thought it was really neat. Uh, it's great for springtime. I love the colors. I kind of liked everything about it. And I said, yeah, I think I'm going to get that. Let me snap it there. Uh, this is all, these are all wood beads and it comes down to these, um, some type of acrylic plastic, whatever it is. And then bam, that's just fun. It's really great for spring, summertime. I mean, I suppose you could wear it anytime you want. <laughs> I certainly would. Very nice, very colorful, very big, large, and in charge. Um, I found these, I thought these were just really pretty. They're clip-on earrings uh, with a bunch of dangles. Cute. Uh, this is an amazing, amazing, I found this one today. It's an amazing bracelet. Love the construction. This is the closure right here so that's stable in the mouth there so it opens here pretty neat really nice um, it's just very very well made I don't think it's a precious metal or anything I did pay up for this piece um, but it was so well constructed and such a cool thing I said yes I'm gonna take that and hang on one sec. Am I recording now? Oh, it is recording. <laughs> I couldn't tell. Okay. Where was I at? Sorry about that. Oh, I was showing you the awesome bracelet. Okay. Costume. Um, and I found this. Uh, another rosary. Glass red beads. Just really nice. And I just can't find enough of these things. And what else did I find? Um, I went to one store today and um, the turquoise guy um, in town, if you're local, you know who he is. Uh, his name is Eric. Um, I went to his store where he's got a booth uh, and anyways he 
he said, here, I'm going to give you these. I don't sell this type of thing anymore, um, if you want them. And I w said, sure. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Eric, very much. Uh, these are sterling silver screwback earrings. Uh, he only does Native American. Um, that's his thing. That's his jam. And this is uh, like 18 karat gold, heavy gold, electro plate. Uh, just a really beautiful ring. And he had this one at $22. But yeah, he doesn't sell these types of things anymore. So he just gave them to me. So thank you, Eric. That was very kind of him. Um... While I was out today, I did find this. Now, these came from two different vendors. Uh, this Omega chain came from one vendor, Sterling. Very nice Omega. And I put this on there. Uh, it's Sterling Silver and Onyx. And it actually came with this big, huge cuff bracelet. And... It's really nice. It's very, very nice. Very substantial. And so is this. This is very nice and really nice together. It was a set. I That's how it was sold. I actually meant to look at this when I was there last week. I kind of left it behind and it was still there, so. I don't know why, but it was. I'll take it, I said. This, let me just put something on there. Um, I found a twerk uh, and a puffy heart. Two different places, but just put them together. What the heck? I found this sterling necklace with that beautiful stone there. I like the bail on that. Cool bail. And that one is signed uh, 00. <laughs> 007. Oh yeah. From one store, I found this little bag of earrings. It was a bunch of little clip-on earrings and there were some really cool little glass ones there and and these were in there and I noticed these I could tell by the design mostly um, I was like hmm I think those are sterling silver why would I think that um they look Etruscan uh, I looked inside the bell and I just liked the way it tarnished Oh, it's nice and clean way up in there and tarnished towards the end. Uh, then I saw then I saw that it's all smashed right there. And I thought, yeah, that's a very soft metal. Uh, more than likely silver and sure enough I tested them they don't look like silver they look like brass uh, but they're probably very tarnished and if they were to be cleaned they'd probably be a nice uh, vermeil like golden color I'd imagine they actually could be silver tone and just tarnished a brassy color because that happens too. Uh, but I did test them and they are sterling. So that was a nice little bag for just a couple of dollars because those are very cool. Um, <laughs> I like it. These are super cute too. Um, and this one is marked just like that. Zuni um, backwards FLC. I don't know. 
I didn't look into it yet. And I probably won't. I, you know, I, I, sometimes I try to research. I used to research, research, research. <laughs> I used to be an investigator. And actually on my lunch break, I literally would hit five thrift stores on my lunch break. And I'd get back to the office and I would research the items I picked up. And, uh, yeah, I used to. They're coming to take me away, haha. Uh, these ones are pretty awesome. I actually paid a little more than I normally would for these because I just thought they were extremely pretty. Love all the colors amber, turquoise, lapis, gar or not garnet, uh, amethyst. And sterling and just beautiful I said yeah I'm gonna take those too oh and I found this <laughs> uh, sterling silver fingertip. I mean, I suppose you could wear it as a pinky ring, but I don't think that's, ouch, that's not how it's meant to be worn. <laughs> I think that's how it's meant to be worn. Uh, these here are sterling silver, and these are lovely. I tested everything today. Matter of fact, I did end up with a pair of earrings today that were not sterling. Um, and I did go back to the place and um, where I picked up the other earrings last week um, that I tested and were not sterling. Uh, I, yeah, I'm just out. SOL because they were not uh, I was just a little bit they were with all the other sterling earrings so I guess I just assumed you know what happens when you assume things um, yeah and I thought that these were sterling today and they are not so that they go into this pile <laughs> let's see I showed you that that um, oh, I didn't show you this. Uh, this is just, it's very tarnished. I didn't, uh, didn't clean it. And it was not signed on the back. But it's signed on the front. Look at that. It's fabulous. It's absolutely beautiful. I could very easily straighten up the little thing there. I think there's two of them that just need a slight adjustment. No big deal. Um, let's see. I got that. I got these sterling earrings. Really cute. Uh, these are, there's holes at the bottom and they're strung on there. I did find these earrings, which I thought were beautiful, uh, with mandala patterns. Those are awesome. I like those a lot. They also liked these a lot. Yeah, I like my hair red again. <laughs> I don't know. I might have to do a little bit. I, I didn't think it was quite enough. But what do you guys think? I liked my hair when I had it. Um, like a hot pink. It was cool, but I like this color a lot. And I've had my hair, I've got, I got pictures, I'll, I'll show you guys. It was close to red like this for many, many years. Um, those are pretty sterling. These are also very nice sterling. 
I found a lot of earrings today. Um, someone cleaned these, and I could tell they were cleaned, uh, which is sad. Oh, boy. And I need to clean... <laughs> I need to clean my fingernails. <laughs> Uh, I'm failing. <laughs> A sterling silver, and these are these are pretty amazing right here. I just think those are really quite lovely. Very nice. What else? I found another little pair of sterling earrings. No big deal. This ring right here. Very pretty. Uh, this is sterling and these are all gemstones. Oh, I never did loop this to see what this one said. Just says 925. And I just thought that was really cute. And I was really interested in uh, the way those stones were set from underneath like that. Um, and, and how that was done. And uh, it's definitely something that I would like to learn uh, in class is how to undermount faceted stones like that because I have a plethora of uh, faceted stones and I, I just like the way that those are set I suppose um, and I really liked this ring it's looks like peridot and amethyst and just a really nice sterling ring that would make a great thumb ring uh, but it also looked cool with the ring I had on today, I thought. I got this one at the fair when I was working there. Um, I purchased I purchased two rings um, when I was working in the jewelry, the, the nicer jewelry case, uh, whatever it's called. Fine jewelry. I worked fine jewelry and I purchased two rings uh, while I was there and that's this is one of them. Oh, I just took it off. I don't know. It's late. Um, sterling and whatever beautiful turquoise looking stone that is. It's fabulous. It's a beautiful, beautiful stone. And what else? I did find this while I was out. I was, uh, it looks to me like maybe someone dropped acid right on top right there. Like, I don't know, it might be just tarnished, uh, but I think they were testing this for gold and uh, what a shame. Um, I don't know. I could see if I can get that out. But I thought, if not, it'd be real nice to maybe just attach something right there. That'd be really cute on a hat or something. Anyhow, I think, oh, no, I got this. Um, Kenneth J. Lane. And... I also got, oh, oh, these two things. Well, I got this. Uh, this was marked as a vintage bohemian, uh, whatever, not silver, but uh, it said semi-precious gemstones. And I just, was amazing. Love all the colors. Amethyst, garnet, like a turquoise, whatever that pink is. And, you know, that's to say if they were gemstone. I'm not sure. I didn't hit it with the gem tester. I didn't even look at these under the loop. 
Uh, hmm, I mean, they kind of look nice under the loop. Uh, but then again, it could be poured glass. Um, and poured glass would be maybe my guess. Um, not sure. <laughs> but I just thought it was um, an amazing piece of jewelry and I did not want to leave it behind. I did see this one there um, last week also and I don't know why I didn't grab it. So I got it yesterday. And there was this also. Sterling silver and it came down to this little bottle. Um, sterling silver and I think I'm going to call this a snuff bottle oh my uh, because that's flat on the end as if to scoop something up with it I could be way off um they had little opium bottles like this too. I don't know. What do you guys think? Opium bottle, perfume bottle, snuff bottle. What would you call it? All in sterling silver. What would you call it besides fabulous? It's a little, it's a beautiful little piece. Show you the old etchings there. And I think that was everything. Oh no, I got that for my Auntie Lorraine. I showed you those from Eric. I think that was it. That was all. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications so you know when I do my next video or go live. And, uh, yeah, like, subscribe, share, leave a comment in this video and let me know what your favorite item was. Peace out.